As I was doing research into former Cardinal McCarrick's past, I came across the Institute of the Incarnate Word. It is a religious order that was founded in 1984 by Father Carlos Miguel Buela. And in 2010, Father Buela resigned because of allegations of sexual assault. Now, during the investigation of Cardinal McCarrick's abuse in July of 2018, McCarrick stayed at the Institute of the Incarnate Word in Washington, D.C., and his association with the order actually goes back a lot farther. Now, I couldn't find a lot of information about that, but there was a seminary in Argentina for the Institute of the Incarnate Word. Apparently, McCarrick traveled to Argentina a number of times to help with the seminary. Who knows how much funding he was pouring into that seminary? Who knows the influence he had over the seminarians? In 2007, Cardinal Bergoglio attempted to shut down the seminary in Argentina. People saw this as a power trip by Bergoglio, but there was no reason reported for why he tried to shut this down. With McCarrick's association with the Order, the Institute of the Incarnate Word, and Bergoglio's attempt to shut it down, it just raises a lot of questions and a lot of suspicion. So what happened when Bergoglio tried to shut it down was that Cardinal Sedano of the Vatican came to the defense of the Order and transferred the headquarters to Italy. Cardinal Sedano was also a cardinal who had been rumored to be part of the corruption network. And when McCarrick took up residence in 2018 at the Institute of the Incarnate Word Seminary, it was said that the seminarians really, really did not like his lifestyle because they're an order dedicated to poverty. And McCarrick, I guess, was a big-time spender. But there also may have been other reasons they didn't like McCarrick. But yeah, it's it's a pretty interesting association there between Argentina, Bergoglio, McCarrick, and the Institute of the Incarnate Word. And hopefully you take a look at some of the articles and maybe kind of draw your own conclusions for yourself.